video gets into the tutorial, I just wanted to say I finally hit 12,000. <laughs> um, pretty excited to see it growing. Um, put a lot of hard work in it since I've been home um, with nothing to do. I've been filming every single day, multiple videos, and I try to upload every single day. I usually miss the two days that Alex is off um, in the week, but Thank you guys so much. I'm really glad to see my channel grow. I appreciate everyone, new and old. Thank you so much. Hi guys. I think this frame is crooked, but going on. Um, as usual, I have super yellow teeth. I am drinking the coffee. Third cup today because it's that kind of day. I'm going to go right into it. So this is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. Probably using too much and I'm mixing this with the Cologne Cosmetics candle glow I just want to be super glowy I'm not fully sure of um, you know the science on if this lasts or not but pretty sure that this is covered completely with the foundation but a hey. Putting love into every step, you know? So I gotta say, this is like one of my favorite videos to film where I just use whatever products I like best. For foundation, I'm using my favorite combo. This is Frankie Rose Foundation in the shade Bear and the Jouer Cosmetics Foundation in Pearl. These two make yellow goodness together. I'm running low on the Frankie Rose. I really need to get more. This, um, a subscriber told me to get Gloss Brooklyn, I think that's how you say her, her handle, but she wouldn't stop telling me to get this foundation, and I'm so glad that she pushed me, because that is an incredible foundation. I absolutely love it, and I love the way that these two wear together, I love the coverage, like, I didn't even use half of what I had in my hand. These two are just so full coverage together. I'm using my favorite AOA sponge. This one is like the softest out of all the ones that I have. Um, that would be the only complaint I would have about these sponges is that not every sponge is made alike. Um, but oddly enough, I've found that the more you use them, the softer they get. For cream bronzing, I'm using the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 2.1Y. This is gonna be like my liquid bronze. I'm putting this on the temples of my forehead and in my cheek contours, um, along my nose, and of course my doobly chin. Since I'm just using that for my liquid bronzer, I am putting that just a little bit above my contours. So that's where I'm gonna put this Kalan Cosmetics Stick Foundation in the shade Extra Dark. Put the brush right in there. This I'm actually putting straight into the contour, that way the bronzer is just a little bit above it. I'm going to use Curly Pink again from Cologne Cosmetics. Um, this really just helps to mix with the cream products and help them blend out. Alright, so then I just start blending them out. So, in like every single video for the last week I've been whining about going to the doctor's office because I was so unaware of what they were gonna say um so that was yesterday so you guys don't have to hear any more blubbering <laughs> um so I got six more weeks of winter <laughs> now um I go back to work in six weeks ish um hopefully uh, pretty bummed about it I in my heart of hearts, I was thinking that they were going to say two more weeks. And I thought, honestly, I thought I needed two more weeks. Um, yeah. Sucks. Um, <laughs> six weeks is a lot. And, yeah, so I don't really know what's going to happen with my job, like... Pretty sure they're gonna need to replace me before then and my sister took me and she was like um I was like super bummed afterwards she was like no matter what they would have said you would have been bummed like <laughs> so she's she's that's true um yeah I don't know I just so ready to get back to life and get back to the normal 
world and I had this like, I had this end date in mind. Um, I mean, I literally had my work outfits folded on my bed, like ready to go for the first week because I thought it was going to be hard for me. I mean, my clothes were all clean and put away, which is like unknown for me. I'm going back in with that sponge, getting a little bit more foundation on my sponge and I'm going to use this to blend the edges of all that cream contouring um, just because I don't want it to look too dramatic. I want it to kind of blend all together. This does take away a lot of the work that I did but I only like half blended it out with this brush. Um, so this is where I do the majority of the blending. If you want it to look more dramatic than what this is going to leave it, then go right ahead. But I'm going for a natural glam today. Not really natural glam, but like like level two when I'm normally in like level five. <laughs> but yeah, so I was all ready. Um, I truly, truly, truly thought that they were gonna give me two weeks. I wanted to be prepared for them just being like, okay, go wild, go back to work, go live your life. You can walk. <laughs> but I also found out that I didn't even know. I was like, oh my God, I wish you would have told me that. I'm starting to feel real bad for myself. Um, I broke my leg and I didn't know that. It's called a trimalleolar. I'm, I'm not saying it right, but if you Google it, you can see the part of my leg that I broke. So there's like, there's the leg and there's the ankle and then there's like a bone that connects the ankle to the leg. I'm probably saying this completely wrong, but I broke that bone too. And it, I guess it's called a fibia. It's connected to the leg bone or is the leg bone, something like that. I couldn't even look at the x-rays because they were literally, I was starting to feel weak. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to use this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. But yeah, so you guys get six more weeks of everyday uploads. I already even like had my filming or my uploading schedule re-thought as I was going to try and do every other day just in case like going back to work was super difficult. But I had it all planned out in my mind like Alex was going to drop me off to work when he rolls through at about 6 o'clock-ish. And I was gonna sit there and edit my videos um, until I'm actually supposed to start work at like eight, nine-ish. Yeah, I have some extra, so I'm gonna kind of put it down here. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. Of course, I'm using this to highlight my under eyes and only my under eyes. So my main goal <laughs> for the next six weeks is to really do something with my YouTube channel. Um, I have have to think of a positive for all of this and that's just about the only one. Plus I'm gonna start um, doing some workouts just to help me like um, physically I need to lose weight. Um, I'm like half convinced that this happened because of all the weight on my poor ankles. <laughs> But I think if I start working out and start getting used to like physical activities, um, that, that that will help me when I go actually do go back to life for stop from like being so super tired. Um, obviously I have to do like modified workouts, but I looked around on YouTube and found some. I just need to get a different chair because your legs have to be touching the floor or your feet have to be touching the floor to do the modified workouts. And um, our kitchen table chairs are like bar height and then I'm using a computer desk when I'm downstairs or not a computer desk a computer chair to roll around <laughs> um, while I'm downstairs because it's a uh, hardwood down there and tile and I definitely can't use that to work out then I even have a shower chair <laughs> um, but that's too short I think I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder on my G35 brush. This is my favorite combo lately. It's my favorite way to set my under eyes. I just set the powder down first. And I like to set all the areas that I concealed. I always set my under eyes because they are very creasy and they will get super creasy. Um, but I like to set the concealer areas as well just because I'm, you know, layering up products there. So I definitely think that it needs to be set. 
And of course, it gets in my eyebrows, it gets in my lashes, it gets in my wig, but I will fix all of that. I was talking to my sister about this yesterday, and um, I started talking to you guys about it in a video, but uh, now I'm going to work on getting all that excess off. Um, but yeah, I started talking to you guys about this in one video, but then my conversational ADD kicked in and I lost my track of thought. But my plan, since I fried the shit out of my hair, my plan now is to keep wearing wigs. That's why I got this black one. Um, is to keep wearing wigs and I'm going to slowly fix my hair. Again, I got six weeks to do so. Um, right now my hair is in braids and like sitting in oils. So that way it like repairs because it's fried to like my hair is Ugh, makes me so mad because my hair was so pretty. So pretty before I did this to it. Yeah, and I'm not going to dye it because I don't have to. Um, and I'm just going to try and let it repair itself. I'm using the shade and light palette from Kat Von D. It's my favorite, favorite contouring palette, palette, powder contouring palette. I'm going to use this shade right here to go straight into my contours. And this is going to be setting all that cream that I used in there. If you were using dewier products, then I say you didn't have the same products, but you still want a cream contour, um, and you kind of think that they're a little bit dewier, um, I think that you should definitely set those areas before you go in with the powder, because if not, it's just going to like get muddy and kind of blend funny. <laughs> this is a um, hairband that... I mean, I'm not going to call her my niece because I'm not really related, but it's my friend Anthony Rachel's daughter, <laughs> Rylan, gave me those. And I used this to set my nose as well because this color is a little cool toned. It will look more realistic than the bronzer. And I, if you've never seen my channel before, um, welcome to me being super chatty and whiny, but I don't precisely contour my nose. I just let my setting powder clean it up afterwards. So next I'm gonna go into that bronzy shade with a fluffier brush. And I just go straight above that contour, blend it out. I like to be much more dramatic with my bronzer than maybe you should if you don't have as fat of a face as I do. I got a lot going on, so I kind of bring it out farther. And I do it a lot darker than I think most probably do or should as well. There's nothing natural about this face, so I really don't worry about it. For blush, I'm using this Motives Cosmetics Press Blush in the shade Natural Glow. And I just like to put this right on top of and sort of mix it with the bronzer. I like to hit the apples. If you have to smile, <laughs> you can. And I always hit the tip of my nose with my blush. Um, I just wanted to all gel to gizzer. All right, so this is one of my current favorite powders. I just can't use it on my under eyes because it's a little bit too dark. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Powder. And I take my little sponge in there and I'm using this to clean up my nose contour. This is going to erase it where I don't want it. Sometimes I go a little bit thinner with my nose. Just depends. Does anybody else think that the older they get, the wider their nose gets? Like the end, just the end. <laughs> Alright, I'm using that under my contour as well. Alright, and then I just let it set for literally not even a full minute. Oh, it's in my hair. And then I brush it off. I find that if I let it set any longer, it'll have like a crisp line and I'll have to go in with my bronzer and blend it out again. Alright, so as you can see, everybody is looking super powdery. So I'm going to be taking my Kalan Cosmetics Rose Water Cucumber Balancing Mist. 
And as I've said a bunch of times, but I'm saying for anyone new, I use this, like I use a lot of spray because I use a lot of powder. I don't think it helps my makeup last at all to be 110% honest with you, but I do think it takes away that powderiness. And that's what I need because I use a lot of powder. <laughs> I use a lot of powder, not because I'm oily, I'm actually really dry, um, but I use it because I don't do touch-ups. I want this face to last as long as I need it to. All right, so I'm going to finish off my brows and do some mascara on my lower lashes and then I will be back. So I've completed my face. I fixed up my brows. Um, for some reason today, they went on a little thick. So I didn't put my eyes in this video because it was super, super simple. I literally just put concealer, set the concealer, put on the lashes, a thin line of eyeliner just so that the lashes don't look like weird. Um, my face is super matte, even though I did the glowy base, um, but I like it, it's the fullest of full coverages. Um, so I want the stunner in this look, I wanted everything to be super simple, I wanted the stunner in this look to be the lipstick. So I'm using Dancer from Kylie Cosmetics, um, I think she re-released this this year, but this is from last year. This is one of her medals, and I really like this color. So here is the finished look. As I said, this is like my favorite look. Um, I really like simple makeup with bold lip. Um, it's kind of what I've gravitated towards when I wasn't filming for like the three to four months. This is like what I was doing every single day. I don't think all makeup on YouTube has to be like crazy. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Here's a wearable Christmas look and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.